You and I and the rest of mankind are limited to just five senses. We got touch, sight, hearing, taste, and smell. So that's just five ways that we can connect with other humans. So this is the full guide on how to always smell good as a man. And I saw that on Point Fresh made a video like this. I was like, that's a really good idea. I'm going to make that in my own way. Let's do it. We're going to start with the most obvious, which is your body. Your skin and your oil glands and your armpits and your groin area are a breeding ground for bacteria and bad smell. When this bacteria combines with sweat that you secrete, it creates this compound that just plain stinks. So the best way to combat that, pretty simple, is just to shower daily. And you should be showering and washing your body with a scent-free body wash. Now, I just use Cetaphil Gentle Face Wash. It's meant to be a face wash, but I just start with my face and then do my whole body because if it's good enough for my face, then it's definitely good enough for my body. And when I say I wash everything, I wash everything. All nooks and crannies, without exception. You should too. You never know what's hiding around those dark, scary crevices of your body. Get everything. Leave nothing to chance, baby. And then to kind of control those sweat glands in your armpit, which are the biggest culprit for sweat and that bad BO smell is you want to use a deodorant that has an antiperspirant in it. The one that I find that works the best is just the simple Arm & Hammer Ultra Max Antiperspirant Deodorant. I find that it's super strong and lasts all day long. Again, I will list all of the products that I mentioned in this video in the description down below if you miss it and you want to find them they'll be there so you want to apply this every morning to set yourself up for the rest of the day until you shower again when you're washing your body as much as a modern human is you need to be supplementing that by moisturizing because you're going to dry out your skin a lot so i don't recommend using a moisturizer that has a lot of oils or different scents or ingredients in them so i just recommend using aloe vera gel there's no strong compounds that are going to be fucking with your skin's microbiome it is 80 percent water but regardless of that it's super soothing and hydrating so you want to apply this all over your body and it doesn't have a strong scent so that's the jab cross combo and then the knockout punch apply some cologne this is obviously one of the easiest ways to increase your smell. So I have two recommendations for you. Either Zaharoff, which is a nice masculine sort of rustic smell. And then my other favorite is Polo Red, which is kind of a more fruity, a bit more feminine, but still great smelling scent. Girls absolutely love this. My girlfriend's favorite. And you can also find knockoffs of it because I believe it is like $50, $60. So I'll try to find a knockoff that smells just as good. And a way that you can make your cologne last even longer is if you apply a little bit of Vaseline lean where you're going to spray it and then spray the cologne onto that area to kind of traps it in there and helps it absorb and stick throughout the whole day. What's the next thing that you find that smells the most? In my opinion, it is without a doubt the mouth. Bad breath, baby. Let's fix that. Obviously, we use our mouths to eat. So undoubtedly, you're getting a lot of food stuck in certain areas that's sitting there all day and rotting and producing bacteria. It's incredible how fast food creates bacteria, especially when it's in a dark, moist, warm environment. So firstly, make sure you're brushing your teeth at least twice a day. Are you shocked? 9 out of 10 dentists recommend brushing your teeth. Actually, it's probably 10 out of 10. And apparently, according to dentists across the world, the best toothpaste is Colgate Total for its whitening aspect, its bacteria control, and just overall wide range of benefits. So Colgate Total, twice a day. I know it's not entirely obvious when you first look at your teeth, but a lot of people don't realize a lot of the food is getting stuck in between your teeth. So you also want to floss at least once every day. I'll be honest, I only floss once a day, but you're supposed to floss twice a day to get all that junk out of the in-between. It's like someone told me brushing your teeth without flossing is like wiping your butt cheeks after your, you shit, but not your butt crack. So after I heard that, I made it a point to start flossing every single day. But not only that, you should also use a tongue scraper on your tongue every single day because your tongue is filled with taste buds which are very rugged and there's a lot of crevices so a lot of spaces where bacteria and food can hide and multiply and create sulfate and stinky smells so use a tongue scraper to scrape your tongue of all that nasty junk and lastly use an alcohol-free mouthwash you know you can do all this stuff the scraping the toothbrush the picking the flossing but you can't get every area of your mouth so this is the you know burnout set uh, if you will of washing your mouth and use an alcohol-free mouthwash and I actually, this will get all the spaces you can't normally reach with these tools because water is able to reach those areas and fill whatever form it is in. Hair. Just as your body, your hair also produces natural oils meant to protect it, make sure they're strong and healthy and uh, not breaking apart and dying. 
So you don't want to actually wash your hair every single day because that'll strip it of these oils, leaving it dry and brittle and cracking. So you can wash your hair obviously in the shower with just water, but don't wash with actual shampoo, but only once every three days. I know what you're wondering, how often can I condition? Should I even condition? Yes, you should condition your hair, but only right after you shampoo. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, or shampoo once every three days, condition once every three days. Because shampoo opens up these cuticles of your hair follicle to allow them to be cleaned, and then the conditioner kind of seals them back shut and protects them. So if you're doing one without the other, it's just unbeneficial. It's fleeting. It's futile. So that's it for hair. The last thing that you probably didn't think about is your environment. How often do you meet somebody new and they have an interesting smell? And then maybe you go hang out at their house one day and you're like, wow, they smell like their house and it's not a good thing. We become so accustomed to the smells surrounding us that we don't even notice it anymore. Even if it's a negative smell from our food, from our floors, from, you know, uh, our laundry, whatever it is. So obviously wash your clothes after wearing them no more than two times. And if you wear them to the gym, obviously wash them right afterwards. Also make sure your floors, your your kitchen counters and your stovetop is clean because that's a place where you get this weird food smell which seeps into the rest of your house and within your clothes and whatnot. Clean your floors and your countertops and light a candle to create a nice fresh smelling environment. And I also recommend opening a few windows every couple of days to let your house just air out and let your strange house smell be flushed clean so you can start over. And I'm going to give you one last little bonus tip. You know, you can apply cologne every day if you'd like, but one way that I found to make it easier on yourself if you forget is right after you wash your clothes when you put them in the dryer spray them with the cologne straight into the dryer just a few spritz so it encodes all of your clothes with that personal you cologne nice smell every guy can smell better so that's the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't already like subscribe turn on notifications and until next time